<laughs> Hello one and all, this is so Lordy, James Bullock, once again, with another video game first impressions. This time around, WWE 2K Battlegrounds, for the PlayStation 4, Xbox One, Nintendo Switch, Google Stadia, and PC. After pretty much the very disappointing WWE 2K20, the developers at 2K and Saber Interactive went to work on a spin-off game, a more cartoonish arcade style fighter that is now WWE 2K Battlegrounds. It is more arcade focused with the characters pulling off a variety of maneuvers after throwing strikes, be it punches or kicks. You can of course do Irish whips, maneuvers off the top rope, dives over the top rope to the floor, but a majority of what makes 2K Battleground so different from any other WWE game recently is the absurdity of it all. You have special maneuvers where a character will pick up another character and throw him into the air and do a 360 spin for a Street Fighter like uppercut to the gut. Each character also has the ability to gorilla press an opponent to the floor and depending on the environment where there are interactables like the automotive shop or the Everglades, you may throw your opponent into a jacked up car or a crocodile. It's these kind of things that really make the gameplay so much fun because though it's not unpredictable, it does shake things up and really makes things so much more enjoyable. Each character has three different power ups where the meter increases as the match progresses. Of course, the tier three power up takes the longest to get to. Some of these power ups include the ability to turn your hands on fire to unleash even more damage when you throw strikes or even make it harder for an opponent to kick out of a pen. There is a heat gauge or a momentum gauge as you land attacks or even taunt your opponent successfully. And once you get that heat gauge full, you're able to pull off your signature or your finishing maneuver that can be, for example, the choke slam from The Undertaker or a spinning tombstone pile driver where he jumps 15 feet in the air before crashing down into the mat. The gameplay is actually very enjoyable. It's very fun. It's very cartoonish. Even though it's not the most robust or deep grappling or striking system that you can come across, there are a variety of modes, including tag team matches, be it standard or tornado tag. You have the Royal Rumble. One of my favorite modes definitely has to be the steel cage match, where they place money on the cage where you have to climb up, retrieve the money, and until you get your bar full, you cannot escape the cage. All the while, there will be times when the cage becomes electrified. For me, the steel cage matches are one of the best things when it comes to this game. Like, I did not expect them to innovate when it came to a steel cage match and it actually be something this good. On the opposite end of the spectrum is the campaign mode. You don't play as a created character made by yourself, but by the developers as you go through this comic book style presentation where Paul Heyman and Stone Cold Steve Austin start their own wrestling division by finding some of the best of the best fighters from around the globe. The campaign is a little long-winded, to me pretty mundane, especially with the overall presentation being this very static and stoic comic book presentation. But playing through the campaign is necessary if you want to unlock more power-ups, if you want to unlock more superstars, and if you want to unlock some vanity items, some costumes for your created wrestler that you can make in another section. When it comes to creation options, create a wrestler isn't that robust as expected, but there are a lot of tools that you can enjoy and make some pretty good wrestlers. Unfortunately, some of the more outrageous costumes are locked behind a paywall. There are also some online offerings, including the tournament mode, where you go one-on-one -on -one with online competitors in the hope that you will get the battle box that are the in-game currency that can be attained in whatever you do when it comes to action in this game. There's also King of the Battleground mode, which is a Royal Rumble-like mode for online competition. Both modes are pretty good. I don't really have a complaint about it, thanks to the gameplay itself being so fun. This is probably the most fun I've had online in a WWE game in quite some time, if not ever. Though there are technical issues that did hinder my overall experience. And those technical issues included the fact that 
I had my first hard crashes while playing online tournament mode. I had an error message that happened over and over again with the same opponent because for some reason they say that we couldn't play the selected character. There was also a very disappointing moment when the game glitched out and instead of me still standing, my character just teleported, fell on the floor, and got counted out. A majority of the issues that I've had in Battlegrounds has been playing online, which is very disappointing because, as I said, I really did enjoy playing online in this game because of the gameplay being so fun. Beyond that, beyond some frame rate drops that usually happen in the Royal Rumble matches and some extended loading times here and there and some odd glitches here and there like a moment when Ember Moon refused to stay down no matter what I hit her with, she would go down and pop right back up. This issue is coupled by the problem that this game for some reason needs to be connected online at all times. I don't mean just for online play, I don't mean just for updates, for daily challenges that you can get more bucks by completing, but also just getting rewards for offline exhibition matches. And if you're not connected online, you will not get the rewards for completing that match. Why this is a thing is beyond me. Battlegrounds is definitely a better put together game technically than WWE 2K20 was last year. Now the game's biggest flaw definitely has to be how much is locked. Not only behind a gameplay wall but also behind a paywall. The game has two different types of currency. Battle bucks which as I noted are earned whenever you complete a match or complete a scenario in career mode or complete a battlegrounds battle mode with your custom character where you can go and actually upgrade both your skills and your custom character's abilities and there are also gold coins that can be bought with real money now there are several wrestlers that can be unlocked when you play through career mode there are power ups there are upgrades that can be unlocked in battleground mode but there are also other wrestlers, especially some of the bigger name ones like Becky Lynch, AJ Styles, Seth Rollins, Samoa Joe, Kevin Owens, Steve Austin and The Rock that are solely connected to the Superstar Shop are priced pretty high when it comes to Battle Bucks. But of course, when it comes to the gold coins, which you need to pay real money to attain, they are relatively cheap. And this is unfortunate because this not only applies to unlocking characters, but also unlocking certain outfits for your created wrestler, unlocking certain abilities. If you want to spend the least amount of money possible in game, you actually have to spend a good amount of actual money. And if you care about unlocking everything and don't want to spend real money, you will be working for a long time which becomes even more monotonous when you consider the fact that these characters that you unlock aren't different from one another if they're in the same class. There are five different classes and if say Rey Mysterio who is unlocked at the beginning of the game faces Lince Dorado who is locked, both wrestlers have the same maneuvers outside of their signature maneuvers and finishers. So it doesn't feel like it's really rewarding when you unlock, say, Hulk Hogan because he plays just like The Undertaker. Overall, WWE 2K Battlegrounds isn't a home run. It isn't a marvelous return to form, but it's definitely one of those fun games that if you have a friend, if you have game share, and you want to just sit down and play and have some fun, this is perfect. This isn't a game you're gonna take seriously. This isn't a game that's gonna keep you invested in the story or even in the online offerings but if you just want to have some fun this is perfect this is absolutely perfect it's mind-numbing good fun when it comes to a wrestling game and plus being only forty dollars it's not that bad of a deal but if you've enjoyed the previous wwe 2k games if you've enjoyed the simulation style games you will not enjoy this. It's hard for me to believe that you will come into this and walk away feeling satisfied. So there you have it. This has been Soul for Lordy. James Bullock, once again, with another video game first impressions. WWE 2K Battlegrounds. For the PlayStation 4, Xbox One, Nintendo Switch, Google Stadia, and PC. Now if you don't mind, I have to head to the Everglades and try to impress Stone Cold Steve Austin. 
And if that means me throwing an opponent into a crocodile to do so, that person will have no choice but to say, Oh lordy!